Hi, I'm Julie with Julie School of Dance and I'm here to help you learn how to do your rhinestones. First, you're gonna need E6000. I buy it where you can get the fine tips um, and you definitely wanna make sure that you get the clear, okay? There's black, white, and clear. You want clear. Um, your whole box of rhinestones here are gonna be used for the red costume. The loose rhinestones in the envelope are for the black costume, okay? Um, here we have a diamond. Uh, you'll wanna count exactly how many rhinestones are on it so that you can, you know, copy it. So you can pause it and look. Um, thank you, Pierce. The, these rhinestones are about a finger apart. Okay, and I came all the way down to there. And then I came back up and in between each one, I put one out here, okay? It's not gonna be perfect, just, you know, the best you can do is fine. Then on the back, I went much tighter and I came down and around the hole, okay? and I did the top of the gloves. I might wanna do more on the gloves, but I wanna make sure they're gonna hold first. On body language, I did the back zipper pretty tight, but now all the others, what I've done is I took one of the trays that the rhinestones come on, and I cut it where there's five, one, two, three, four, five, and I cut it. And that way then I had something to kind of measure they're not all perfect, but they're close, okay? Um, so I did it on each black line on the costumes, yeah? So just, all right? So that way they're not as close together. You stuff the um, sleeves with paper towels and you do 10 to 12 on each sleeve just scattered and then kind of look at it. If you need to add a few more, that's fine. There are still quite a few rhinestones left over, which is great for when they fall off, we can add more. And also we might want to put more on the gloves. All right, that's it. Get busy rhinestoning. Thanks so much.